up guys, Dark Sizzle here. As you can see on the truck bed, we have our whole arsenal of Wahoo lures laid out, ready to go. We are going to be covering our tackle and as well as the lures you would use in order to go high speed Wahoo trolling. So let me get started with the, with the rod and reel combo. And I bet you guys are very excited with all these shiny pretty lures here. Not as excited <laughs> as she is. I'm so excited. <laughs> she loves this crap. I love my lures. <laughs> All right, so first, let me tell you about high-speed Wahoo trolling, uh, uh, a quick summary. It's high-speed trolling for Wahoo. You're going to be doing probably minimum 14 knots, okay? 14 people, some people go to 20. So that means we've got heavy gear and big lures, all right? Everything is notched up. Now, why are we going so down fast? Because we're just targeting Wahoo. We're not targeting. Ta targeting. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what he said. I, right. said, oh, I mumble. Said something else. I'm from New York. I mumble a lot, and sometimes I talk too fast. So, and yes, we're going to be specifically targeting Wahoo using a high speed trolling technique, sometimes abbreviated HST. And again, that yes. means heavy stuff, yes. a lot of break offs. You got to have the tackle in tip top shape. And again, we're going to go 14 knots or more because Wahoo are very fast. They can handle it. They like the speed. That's been proven all over the place. And also, that's going to eliminate catching any bonita, kingfish, right. barracudas. Right. You're going to catch those things occasionally, but you're not going to get all wrapped up with all that stuff. You're just going to be targeting Wahoo. Right. It also means you're either going to catch a Wahoo or you're going to catch nothing. All right? So right. a lot of times we're going to catch nothing right. over these trips. So, you know, you got to stand by us. All right? That is the main reason for the high speed because you're eliminating everything else. Right. So, so uh, right into the reels. The reel I use and we use very successfully for five or six years now, right? Yeah. Uh, is a Shimano TLD50 LRSA. All right? It's a two-speed reel. And uh, it's made by Shimano, and it's a, the LRSA is important because it makes a 50 wide reel have the drag uh, of an 80, all right? right? So it has a lot of strength, you know, and a lot of high drag. You know, if you guys fish, you guys know what that means. Right. Now, the size of it is, we love the size of it because we're on a small boat, and, and I'm very small, and, and Darcy's even smaller. Uh, so it, it's a nice size, all right? It's got plenty of line capacity. Uh, I know it's a graphite frame, and there's some urban myths about Lightweight. how they blow up and all this stuff, but we've got plenty of Wahoo. Works great, we like the reel. You know, you can always get some more bigger, expensive reel, a Talica or whatever else. That's no problem. All right, so. If you're interested, it'll be linked down below. Yeah, we'll link everything down below. A, a rod we're using, you're gonna use bent butts, all right? We use a short bent butt, that's just our preference on our boat. There's also longer bent butts, but this is what we use. You can even use straight butts, too. Well, not so much for high-speed trolling. Yeah, well. But you wanna have, so yeah, I mean, you could, absolutely, yeah, that's all you have right now. You can use those, or you can use a combination, and, and that's great too, all right? If you're using outriggers and right. uh, a center rod, you know, that those might be good, but we just use two bent butts, all right? Now, the rod we're using is, this is a custom uh, Barrett shark rod, all right? We love Barrett, he made this beautiful rod for us. It says the sizzle offshore on it, yes. and uh, it's, just a, it's just a great rod, okay? It's, and these get a little expensive, all right? But that's what the way it is. Now, the most important thing on this rod is the tip. This is a swivel tip, you'll see it swivels around, very expensive, guys, but <laughs> I'll, worth it. I'll show you close up. We'll get some close ups. And the idea is now when you walk towards you, you're going you're zigzagging all over the place, almost like a drunken sailor. And this is going to help so you don't get chafing and it, it, it kind of, you know, again, it swivels to where your line goes. So that's the rod. What kind of line do we have on this reel? I have a backing of mono, 60 pound mono, okay? And then on top, it's tough line. It's tough line braid, right? 80 pound uh, tough line braid. I have, uh, I think, 100 yards, all right? So, why are we using braid? We're using braid because it cuts through the water and it's going to get keep our baits down, all right? You can use mono. Not a great idea for this application because it's thick. It's going to float on surface. Your baits are going to skip all over the place. They're not going to go low, all right? You, you can, can also use wire, right? Of course, yes. We I was just going to mention. that too, which we didn't like. Yeah. You can also use wire. Wire is probably the best, but it's also a pain in the butt to deal with, yeah. all right? Because it kinks and if something breaks off and you got to retie it, it's, it's a big mess. And for you guys who aren't wire guys, you know, Honestly, braid, it works fine. You can tie it, you can retie it. It works perfect for us. We're doing great with it, all right? Uh, so that's the three things of that. Uh, then we're going to go from our braid right to a big swivel. And again, I told you guys, we're going 14 knots. All right, we're going fast. Right. So you want to use, use heavy duty. This is a, a Mustad stainless steel ball bearing swivel, all right? It's, uh, I think this one's rated 320 pounds. You want anything over 300 is good. And again, just a, a beautiful swivel. I got along with a Palomar knot, all right? Uh, very strong knot. 
Now, after the main line goes the weight, and this weight will be used with only some of these lures, not all of them, which we'll get to in a little bit. But this weight is called a cigar weight, and they come in different sizes. This one, I believe, is a 72 ounce cigar weight, and you could buy them at your local tackle shop. But you can see they're really nice with the heavy duty mustache swivel here with thick cable on both sides. And this is what you would attach directly to your main line, and then you would attach your shock leader to it. But this is going to keep your bait down in the water deeper because you're moving at such a fast rate of speed, using these weights is going to bring it down in the water column just a little bit. And sometimes that's what the Wahoo will hit. Sometimes they'll hit the deep bait with the weight, and other days they'll hit the one on the surface. So having one under the water also makes sure that your lines are not going to get tangled when you're going in and out like this with another line. So you have one on the surface and one underneath the water. And this one is usually going to be run shorter, closer to your boat. And the one with no weight will be further out. Another point I wanted to make about this weight is the fact that these heavy duty cables are here and why are they here? Be a lot of the times because the Wahoo will actually mistaken this for a fish because once again you're moving so fast they'll actually hit the weight itself and not your lure. So they'll see the weight first and then they'll see the lure after that and sometimes that will happen. So with these heavy duty cables they're not going to break off your weight and break off your whole rig. You can, sorry about the plane, but you can also paint these and that way it's not shiny like this and not going to create a reflection in the water. So you can paint them black and that way it's less likely for a wahoo to hit your weight all right so so far we're up to we got our our main line to a swivel to a cigar weight after the cigar weight we're going to put our shock leader now our shock leader is because obviously we're using braid or you might be using wire and so when a fish hits that lure there's no shock all right it's it's, it's you don't want that all right with braid to... there's no there's no stretch right, it doesn't stretch exactly thanks for, thanks sizzle uh, so we're going to put a shock leader on there and this is going to be a 250 pound up to 400 pound 25 foot maybe 35 foot somewhere in that range it's not an exact science uh, mono heavy duty leader so and this is it I'm not gonna line it on <laughs> unspool, it. unspool it but here it is and we got uh, heavy, again heavy snap swivel on each end so uh, again uh, rod to your cigar weight to the heavy shock leader the shock leader is also great because then you can leader in your fish you know I can hand line it in with a, with a thick line as opposed to that really thin braid that's impossible yeah. and then uh, cut your hands open with braid <laughs> yeah we don't want that no. and so after the shock leader we're gonna get to these lures and you can see we have all the lures laid out here on the table they're all so pretty I love just looking at them anyways but we're gonna go ahead and tell you what we like to use but all of these lures have caught a ton of wahoo and actually have won a ton of tournaments all around the world so starting with the lures that we love to use they're over here these are the let me pick up this one these are, this is the Valley Hood Banshee Lure. This is a 32 ounce Banshee, also known as a cowbell. Um, on their website, it's called the Banshee 32 ounce lure, but we like to call it the cowbell. We love these. These slay the Wahoo for us here in South Florida. And you can get them in different colors. They also have skirts that you could put on once a fish hits it and destroys the skirt. You can put a brand new one on it. So that's perfect. They make kits for that. And these work very well for us. We don't pull any weights with these because you can see how his head is shaped. It's meant to be, it's concave. It's meant to pull water through here and create this noise in the water when you're making, when you're trolling. So it's meant to be on the surface and a lot of the times the Wahoo will hit it. We like to keep it way, 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 way back. So the farther back, the better. And uh, we've had a lot of Wahoo caught like that. Wahoo Express. This is also one of our favorite lures as well. And you can see here the different colors once again. You can pick and choose what you like. They make skirts for this as well. This is called the Wahoo Express, like I said. And uh, this is made by the same company, Ballyhood. You can check that out down in the link in below. But this, you can see how it's shaped. This is more streamlined and it has this this cone head shape and so that's meant for being under the water and not on the surface so a lot of the times we're pulling that 70, 72 ounce cigar weight with this that way it's down deeper in the water and that's where it's meant to be and I also just wanted to say real quick those lures come rigged and ready to go so it has a 250 pound cable on it and also the big old 10 aught hooks that you would need so but you don't have to spend that ex that money on those lures they're a little on the expensive side and it sucks when you lose one so you can actually make your own Wahoo lures at home and you can do that actually with actually something called an Islander. And I'm sure for those of you who know about fishing, Islanders are very popular. A lot of people like to use them regular trolling, but you see there's an Islander here, there's an Islander here, and there's even an Islander right here. And by what I mean by making your own is you would take the Islander, like you can see this is a black and red, and then underneath it, there's actually the, with the cable, and you can see there is about a four ounce egg sinker right here underneath this squid skirt. And then this squid skirt is attached to the weight there. And then we have our hooks. 
So you can see you can make these fairly ch on the cheap side w by yourself at your home and uh, save a bunch of money and you can still catch a ton of fish on this and I believe we did catch a big fish on this lure last year. So Islanders work just as great. Also people love these cone shaped heads too, the bullet shaped lures right here. These work great as well and people love these black fart lures. These slay wahoo. Unfortunately for us, we haven't had much luck, but this is a sand sal candy lure. You can see it's really nice. People just love them. And then we've got the big heavy duty wahoo candy lure right here too. And these are very expensive, just a heads up. And at the end of the table here, we have a couple lures that I wanted to show you as an example as to not what to use when you're wahoo, high speed wahoo trolling. Just because I want to show you the shape of these heads, they're more concave. These are not meant to be pulled on the surface at high speeds, at high speeds. Uh, mainly because these are going to probably come flying out of the water. You can even see this one. This is more like a, your standard marlin rig. Just that shape is not correct for high speeding up to four, higher than 14 knots. Um, it's just, it's not, it's not going to have the perfect presentation for Wahoo. So guys, don't use these lures for high speed Wahoo trolling. All right, so that's, that's the basic gear we're going to use. Now we just got to show you how to use it and we got to catch some fish. Exactly. <laughs> now we just got to go out there and slay some Wahoo. I'm really excited for that. This week we're going to be hardcore Wahoo fishing pretty much every single day. And we're fishing around the full moon. The full moon is tomorrow, which is going to be different for you guys. But uh, it's solely around the full moon. We fish before it and after it a few days. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we can get on the Wahoo out there. You guys need to stay tuned because we're going to have Wahoo videos no matter what for you guys. <laughs> so make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you're aware of when we post new videos. That would be awesome. And um, if you have any questions about this gear, let us know down in the comments below. And I'll try to link as much information as possible for you guys so you can check out this information on your own. And hopefully you can go out there and get your own Wahoo. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate you. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.